Liz, can you believe a couple of days ago I did an intro in which I was nasty to Harry Palmer, thanks TriSci for an introduction, and then didn't post it in the video. Can you believe that? I absolutely can believe that. Why? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You're an yeah, I know. I'll drop that in now. TriSci from Super League in London. You're watching the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Go Johnny! Hang on. Uh, some of us don't get VIP access or something like that, I don't know. Something they probably cried about. So yes, once again, thank you, Simon. The point of this video, however, is to look at my bike setup and nutrition, etc., for Outlaw Half Bowwood, which is tomorrow when this video goes out. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so let's get stuck right into it. Tomorrow is Outlaw Half Bowwood. I'm only doing the bike ride now, so I've got somebody else on the swim. I'm not going to reveal who it is. You might have seen it today if you, if you were at racking registration, and if I've run my mouth off, which has probably happened. Uh, but if not, you're going to have to stay tuned for tomorrow's race day video. But the swimmer is hopefully going to put me in a position where I'm going to be near the front of the race so my strategy is a little different to normal anyway uh, my bike setup has remained i'm just going to say largely unchanged but actually it's largely changed so my wheels are completely different these are the ones that liz has been using in the last uh, few months so a zip 404 front wheel and an 808 rear with an easy disc disc wheel cover um, what else have I done today? I've also changed the cassette from 11.26 to 11.28. There are a few hills on the course. I want to be able to spin up the roll and grind, so that was one of the things I've changed. Uh, in terms of like nutrition and things, because I'm only doing the bike ride, I'm not having to plan for a half marathon run afterwards, so it makes it very simple. So I'm not going to be taking on any, anywhere near as much fluid and food because of that. So I've got a, about 600 mil in an internal frame and 750 mil on the back. However, I've never made it to a, a race and actually used the bottle behind the saddle. It's always fallen off or I've knocked it off. So I'm budgeting my calories without that. And if I keep it on, because I've got a, a you know like a hairband keeping it on, then great. But if not, it's not the end of the world. So I'm gonna be using full steam, which I would show you a tub of, but it's actually propping this camera up right now. So you'll have to imagine. Um, it's gonna have like about probably 60 grams of carbs in the front and the same in the back. Uh, and then other than that, I'm gonna be using again, it's just in front of me here, um, a couple of, OTE gels. Now, because of the clothing I'm wearing, I haven't actually got any pockets, so I'm going to be slipping these up my long sleeves. So I'll just have like one there and then one on the other side as well. So I'll be able to have those at various intervals. I've had a gel probably 10 minutes before I get on the bike, so the plan is to have 120 grams combined with the two bottles, and then 80 grams from uh, the gels makes it 200 grams in total, and it should be two and a bit hours ride, so that should be, should be sufficient. Other things I have thought about with this bike, uh, it's not a full on race setup. I would like a deeper front wheel, I would like either some faster tyres or latex tubes and stuff, but the reality is, I just don't have time to faff around with all this sort of thing. These are Lizard's wheels, I don't want to start messing around with them. They are as they are GP5000 tyres, normal tubes, it will be okay. Um, race dynamic wise, I've never really had to look at the front of a race before, however, this. For this, I, I might have to. I've got to bear in mind that I'm in a relay team, not in an individual, so I don't want to really affect the outcome of the race. So I don't want to be uh, towing Harry Palmer along, not just because I don't want to do that, but also because I don't want that to affect the outcome of the race when I'm just racing as a relay. So if I am in the mix with cyclists, I will either be on my own or on the back of a group, I think. I don't think it's fair for me to be in the mix. And that's what I'll say so I don't have to take a turn. Um, what else am I doing? Uh, well, here while I'm at Bolt, I've got my route on in between the bars as well, so I know where I'm going. I don't know the course, I haven't wrecked it. I have seen Harry Palmer's videos. So if you're watching this because you're doing Outlaw Bowwood tomorrow, check the link down below. I'll leave it in the description. Harry has done a bike course recce video. It's very helpful, so do please do check that out. Um, what else do I need to show you? Behind this uh, saddle, I've got a spares box. I've got a tube, two CO2s, two tyre levers because these tyres are a bit of a pain. Uh, I've take it shut so that it doesn't come open and I put a little flap on the bottom so that if I need to I can just pull it really fast and get the, get into those spares. Other than that, I think that is pretty much it. Uh, in terms of clothing, now I've had various different iterations over the last few months and the item of clothing that I find most comfortable and comfort is, you know, is a key for this sort of length event, it's going to be 30 hours. Is my club skin suit. There's nothing like fancy about this. It's not super fast uh, in materials. It just fits me. It's got a good road chamois in it because I'm not swimming or running. I can have a proper uh, chamois. It makes it a lot more comfortable uh, riding. So that's what I'll be wearing. There's only a tiny little like key pocket at the back. But um, yeah, so Harry Palmer will just be seeing that tomorrow and everybody else will be 
I don't know, seen everything, I don't know. Um, what else? I've actually raised my saddle a little bit. I think it had slipped down a little bit over the last few months. When I was riding it uh, last weekend, I felt like it was a little bit lower. I've measured it versus my uh, road bike saddle height, and it was a little bit lower anyway, but it was like four centimetres lower, so I've risen it about two centimetres, hence where you see the gap in that plastic at the bottom there. Uh, I must have put that plastic in after it's already dropped, but I've ridden it on the turbo. Feels good, feels nice. So I think I'm about ready to rock and roll. Um, I'm going to absolutely commit to this bike leg. I'm going to ride it like a time trial, so I'm hoping to put in a performance I can be proud of. And they're going to be handing over to Liz on the run. Hi, Liz. Hi. <laughs> see you in the chicken run. Picking up poo, that's nice. So yeah, um, good luck if you are competing tomorrow. Please let me know down below if you are, and I'll either see you out on course somewhere, or I'll see you at the finish. Please do get me an Erdinger. Good luck, see you there. There's no wonder nobody pays me. There's a few things on this bike that I've got access to discount codes for people. So, uh, the Easy Disc, the NRG Wax Chain, and Full Steam Nutrition that I mentioned earlier. Uh, I've got various different deals and things. I'll leave it in the description down below because to be quite honest, I can't remember everything that they are. I know I get £10 off a wax chain and 10% off of an Easy Disc. Uh, full Steam, you get a discount on a uh, trial pack of mixed flavors, whatever. Uh, all down below. See you later.